Hi Taurus, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your monthly money and career tarot reading for the month of June 2021. I do want to of course thank you so much for joining me but don't forget as always to hit that like button, comment about your situation and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. But more importantly when meditating on your lovely energy overall for the month the message that came through was uh, beyond abundant for all to see, beyond abundant for all to see. So we're going to keep it simple and pull six tarot cards for the month. Um, so let's do some shuffling. For our lovely Tauruses to begin the month of June 2021. Money and career to continue for Taurus. Thank you so much. Alrighty, we have three. We're halfway there. And we're going to keep shuffling. Thank you, Spirit. For Taurus. Bear with me. What else do we have for Taurus for the second half of June for money and career? Interesting. They want me to stop and pull the last three from the top. Okay. And we have the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. There's going to be an underlining focus on what's leaving you feeling restricted, tied down at this time when it comes to your career. Asking yourself as well, are there certain financial goals that need to be completed in order for you to move forward in the right direction? Asking yourself a lot of important questions in order to uh, proceed in the right direction or begin to. Ending the month in the spread with the Hierophant. You begin the month feeling really content, really positive, as you can see, uh, in a really good mood. For whatever reason, the certain frustrations start to get the best of you right off the bat, but then you brush them off. You're like, you know what, I'm not dealing with this, or I'm simply going to push past it in a positive way. And Spirit saying, well, we're side by side with you, and we have been through all of these ups and downs you've been experiencing recently within your career as well as your finances. Uh, a reminder coming through from those around you or from, I want to say from small synchronicities or small coincidences that you're still growing, you're still blossoming, you're still becoming the individual you're meant to be. And you can't expect that to be the easiest process at all times. And the fact that you're able to feel content, calm, grounded, and uh, a bit happy at the beginning of the month even when certain stress is surrounding you, it says a lot about who you're becoming and the maturity level that you uh, experience or are one with at this time. If there's a feeling that you also need to stop and smell the roses to begin the month, feeling the need to power through and work, 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 and achieve, 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 but at the same time, it's like, you're one, you're only one person, you're a human, and you it'll help you sort of See things, uh, experience certain details, pay attention to them, you know, where before you would have uh, pushed right past them, uh, help. helping you enjoy the process along the way as well. There is a feeling that when you do stop to smell the roses at a certain point in the beginning of the month, you could get a bit distracted and uh, forget where you're heading uh, towards your self-improvement, towards certain successes, towards the completion of certain goals. Um, but for regardless of what takes place the positives and the negatives at the beginning of the month you feel abundant and that's a great thing we're moving on to temperance in reverse for the second card as you may go to the middle of the first half of the month a certain level of impatience takes over you feeling like things are progressing too slowly feeling like you need things to happen quicker uh, for some of you it isn't even about the amount of work you've been producing or the amount of efforts you've been putting forth it's just you intuitively knowing you're destined to succeed and wanting it to happen quicker and spirit saying well if we know you're intuitive we know you're spiritually connected so why aren't you trusting that you know that it's just around the corner so turn this off right have the immense amount of patience and realize that you just need to balance yourself out and take a few deep breaths uh keep doing what you need to do uh recharge your batteries if necessary but be patient, you know? It, it, you inspire others around you when you are that patient individual that you know you can be, all right? So we're going to keep this in the upright position now. Moving on, we have the Queen of Pentacles. 
I feel as if also going back in around the middle of the second half of the month, there's certain factors that surround you in your work environment, whether it's certain people you're dealing with, whether they're part of your work or not, um, or just, it could be several different factors that are testing your level of patience. So to keep that in mind, to preemptively know this, it'll help you to um, keep your cool or to do the best uh, that you can. Moving on with the Queen of Pentacles. You make your way to wrap up the first half of the month and wow, the confidence takes over. I mean, Taurus. Anybody who doesn't notice it obviously has their eyes closed because you are, um, even then, the energy that people would pick up on. You're just feeling good, confident about your career, your finances, understanding that you were so damn close to what feels like a turning point, what feels like a level of abundance that you haven't experienced yet that has just been almost waiting for you to to get to this point you feeling like your finances are about to skyrocket as well as success within your career knowing that you were always destined for this but you had to go through certain ups and downs up until this point to get to it i'm also hearing slow it down and i feel like that was not only to me as a reader but for you as a taurus in general Interestingly enough, I have Taurus uh, in my Mars within my chart. Um, to slow it down at this point is going to benefit you greatly. Uh, not only to once again smell the roses, but to be one with the abundance that you're about to experience. It feels like you won't be able to fully experience it and accept it if, to begin the second half of the month if you don't slow it down now. And to slow it down doesn't mean you don't accomplish all you need to or fulfill your obligations. It just means you do things at a pace that's productive for you. Um, becoming comfortable with um, not overly stressing yourself out or depleting you of your resources along the way to the completion of your goals, right? I'm hearing that you can literally accomplish anything, overcome any obstacles moving forward. So just know that. All right, and we're moving on to the second half of the month in the spread and we have the Ace of Swords. If I could pick it up. So you begin the second half of the month uh, thinking thoroughly about all that's taken place up until this point. Uh, you can't help but reflect um, on all of the obstacles you've had to overcome. Uh, for some of you, it's you feeling like, okay, I know I'm intuitively so close to this turning point whether it took place at the end of the the first half or it's about to take place at this point. And what I'm being drawn to, I'm seeing in my mind's eye, this part of the, the card right here, in spirit saying there isn't a like an equation that you need to come up with or complete to achieve this level of success and abundance that you deserve. Uh, it's apparent to others. And so you need to trust your intuition and the guidance that's being given to you at this time that you're literally churning towards all of the abundance and success once again that is meant for you and only you. Being aligned with the Hierophant, um, once again, I was men mentioning guidance and by that I meant spiritual guidance and that comes through in a multitude of ways. Uh, it differs from Taurus to Taurus, case to case and allowing for yourself to, even though you're very headstrong or very uh, trying to sort through things mentally, uh, to allow yourself to separate yourself from your mind for a hot second and notice some of these synchronicities, messages, this, however the guidance is coming through for you individually. Uh, realizing that you, at this point in the month, to start the second half, are feeling a bit distracted, but because you're trying to figure things out mentally, and Spirit's saying that's not going to be the best route for you, allow for your mind to shine in an abundant way, uh, in, by doing so, simplifying things to the point uh where it feels easier to allow for things to fall into place naturally. We're moving on to the Ace of Pentacles. And the Ace of Swords as well is coming through as, again, this turning point and things feeling fresh, feeling new, feeling as if, okay, well, things haven't been perfect recently, but again, it's a turning point, allowing for this to be uh, what feels like a fresh start in a situation that is continuing. So back to the Ace of Pentacles, and keep in mind we have two Aces, one after the other, all about fresh starts, new beginnings, and accepting that things are truly fresh. 
So making our way back to the Ace of Pentacles, the middle of the second half of the month marks a time where you your finances improve uh, dramatically. A, a windfall of, of money starts to come in, excuse me, uh, for a lot of you Tauruses. Um, you might experience a raise within the current job you're experiencing, uh, or you might receive a job that just gives you the financial comfort that you need and desire at this time. Whatever ends up being for you, you it, it gives you this new level of confidence. It brings you back to not overthinking like we were talking about, but back to this Queen of Pentacles way of being, where you feel you can accomplish anything, where you feel like the universe is working with you and not against you. And spirit saying that's the way it's always been but there are certain obstacles you once again had to overcome to get to where you needed to be and think about it you wouldn't be able to fully appreciate and uh, be one with this level of abundance if you didn't have certain ups and downs along the way allowing for yourself to remember that uh, the process even if it has been easy it was meant to be being aligned with temperance It's this point in the month where spirit, spirit, excuse me, and the universe will remind you that having a certain level of patience moving forward, uh, implementing a certain level of balance, or simply taking a step back when you feel like all of which is leaving you a bit impatient or out of balance is most productive, especially when it comes to your finances, knowing that once again, that this turning point was meant to happen, uh, again, at the end of the first half or the beginning of the second half. And certain levels, certain gifts of abundance that keep coming in around this point are to prove to you, to remind you that you deserve it all and that your financial situation is just going to go uphill from here. Moving on to the last and final card, we have the star. You finish off the month uh, still feeling or feeling even more so uh, spiritually connected reminded from those around you in interesting ways that you have a lot of healing to do still, that things have taken a turn for the best uh, when it comes to your career, when it comes to your money throughout the month of June. Uh, but it doesn't mean that you can neglect the necessary healing that needs to take place. You might find yourself staying up late at night to finish up the month in order to complete certain uh, career obligations. I'm hearing next level success in spirit saying that you can still be honest with yourself, achieve a certain level of uh, healing while being one with this next level success. It's uh, going to be most advantageous. Being aligned with the Queen of Pentacles. It's to be one with your spiritual connection as well as the healing process that takes place at the end of the month that is leaving you feeling even more confident it's and I'm also hearing staying true to who you are allowing yourself to be one with the abundance and the success that is meant for you moving forward uh, as you shift into July but understanding that it doesn't mean you have to adjust who you are Finishing up the month in a thread with a star. If it's even possible, Taurus, your spiritual connection is truly heightened to finish off the month, as well as uh, an immense amount of healing starts to take place. And I, I'm kind of having a moment where I'm like, because you're not really too thrilled about having to go through the healing, but you understand it's necessary. And being aligned with the Queen of Pentacles, it's all to maintain or to bring back this level of confidence, this level of uh, stability within yourself, understanding that your career and your finances are beginning to stabilize as they should. But for you, you need to feel grounded. You need to remember that you're an earth sign and that the ups and downs you've experienced within your career and finances leave this healing uh, needing to take place. You'll thank yourself in the end as you make your way into July, feeling 10 times better, 10 times more abundant. All right. So Taurus, I hope this reading was truly helpful. 
As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I hope you have the most amazing month, and I'll see you next time. Bye.